Hey guys, CJ here, and welcome to Hybrid News Now. It's a working title, don't take it as gospel. Basically, what this is, is our idea to streamline news, so to speak, instead of having to, you know, go through the process of recording and uploading individual pieces of news, I thought that it would be best to just make one daily news video with all of the top stories of the day. Of course, this will come out in the evenings to allow time for news to sort of matriculate and accumulate, but it's just, an, it's much easier for us, it's much easier for you, because you don't have to watch a ton of videos, uh, and you can just watch one to get all your news updates. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. Happy Chinese New Year, or Lunar New Year, to all of you that are in a moon cult. Um, of course, it's a huge day for Chinese, it's the beginning of the year of the horse. Um, I don't actually know how to pronounce it in Chinese. I would, but I would just trip over myself trying. But yes, Happy Chinese New Year. Also... CBVS Season 4 released a week early. Of course, I promised that guy in the channel comments that it would come out February 7th. That did not happen, of course. I actually woke up this morning, because we recorded it yesterday. We were recording it a bit early. Woke up this morning. Josh had texted me that he had dropped it and pulled a Beyonce, and he was not going to take it down. So I was like, uh, well, okay then. Anyways... Josh likes to do things his own way, I guess. I actually have watched it. I've replied to the comments a little bit. We're getting started. Please go vote on that. I'll include a link to that in the description below. But without further ado, let's get to the external world news. Eisenberg is Luther. Yes, Jesse Eisenberg has been reportedly cast as Lex Luther. This comes from a respectable source. Actually, I think it was someone within Warner Brothers actually announced. So it is an official release. Now, people are rumored, like, there's, like, a little chatter going around that Eisenberg has actually been tagged with the project since, like, October, which is weird, honestly. I, I just I just can't see him in the role, and that's a little bit of reaction that I'll give you. I'll make a rant video about that later. Uh, but the bigger news, to me, the thing I'm much more happy about is Jeremy Irons has been cast to play Alfred Pennyworth. I think he's perfect for the role, such a great actor, and it really shows you that Warner Brothers is going after all the star power they can muster. They're like the Miami Heat of movies now, if any of you are sports fans and get that reference. But anyways, Jeremy Irons, I feel like, will be a great Alfred. He's, you know, he can play the butler, but he, I think this also means that they're going to be going with the badass Alfred as opposed to just, you know, the, you know, lifelong servant Alfred. In other large news, Channing Tatum is reportedly in talks to play Gambit. Now, everybody, please get a hold of your shit. Calm down. It's not actually confirmed yet. All that happened is in October, I think it was October, when he was promoting White House Down, he said that he would love to play Gambit, and Gambit is his favorite X-Men, and he's from New Orleans. Um, he's, he can do the Cajun accent, and, you know, basically that's what he said a couple months ago. But now, when it's actually in Empire Magazine's introspective on Days of Future Past, they interviewed a producer, uh, Lauren Donner. She expressed interest in producing a solo Gambit movie starring Channing Tatum. And she said, you know, Channing's a sweetheart, blah, 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 blah. He's on board, and I have to get the studio on board. So she's talked to Channing, obviously, but she hasn't talked to the studio yet. So it still might not happen. Of course, it's going to be hard to resist a big name in a big movie like that. So I think we'll more than likely see it. But everybody chill out. It's not official yet. The movie isn't even in pre-pre-pre-production. It's just in talks. Now, moving on to the next story of the day. Matthew Vaughn has released a statement on why he turned down X-Men Days of Future Past. Uh, saying, quote, It didn't excite me enough. And if that is pretty much not the reaction of every comic book fan to the X-Men Days of Future Past covers for Empire. I don't know what is. He says verbatim, The thing that was exciting about it was bringing all these actors together. What a cast. But I've worked with great actors, and I just thought, I've got to do my own thing. The script was great for X-Men, but I had Secret Service in my head, and that you know is referring to his movie, The Secret Service. And this has always been Brian's machine, he says. It's come full circle. So clearly he stepped out of the way for Singer. Um, as I actually did not know. I figured he was off doing his own thing, and Singer just stepped in, so goddamn you, Singer. But also, I, I have to respect Matthew Vaughn wanting to do his own thing. Anyways, wrapping it up, the next news, potentially big, TV Tropes is reporting a number of things about Captain America the Winter Soldier that may or may not be true, but one of the things that's come out today is the fact that apparently there's going to be a very brief reference to... Um, Carla Sofin, a.k.a. Moonstone, a.k.a. Miss Marvel, and Captain Marvel. So that's huge, huge news. Uh, apparently it's just like a mention. They say, oh, go see Dr. Sofin. 
but of like according to TV tropes, I'll post the link down, you know, in the description below. There are tons of references to the like to the greater Marvel universe in here, much more than we've ever seen in any other movie, mostly pertaining to Shield. But there's just a ton of them. So, anyways, that wraps it up for our news breakdown here at Hybrid Network. Tell us what you thought. Do you like this new format, or would you rather see individual videos? Anyways, please comment below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, I don't. I try not to say that a lot because I don't want to bother you guys about it, but. Don't forget to, uh, clearly, if you like this video, please like it, but comment below with your thoughts on this format. If you like it, you know, great. If you don't like it, then, you know, we'll go back to the normal way of doing things. Anyways, signing off, this is CJ, and see you next time.